2022 is wilder and wackier and better compared to 2021. And I thought 2021 was already wild enough. It can get better and it did get better. If you told me last year that all of the stuff that happened to me this year will eventually happen, I would have laughed my butt off, probably cope about it, and beat you to death. Because at that point, you're giving a poor boy some false hope to his small, small channel and his small contained life. <laughs> Which, thankfully, in this case, it did happen. Alright, let's do a freaking recap, shall we? First of all, if you're wondering, yes, I'm still editing videos with Toasted Toaster. He grew a lot, and I mean a lot, a lot during my hiatus. Boy... I better stop doing that every year. I just realized it has become an unfortunate theme of this channel. He's been consistently doing well with YouTube shorts and I'm happy that I got to work alongside him on his journey too. And I still am part of his journey. Check him out, link is in the description below. And to top that off, a serious chain of events has occurred. Let's bring the worst part out of the way, and which is I'm not free to play on Genshin anymore. Or am I still? <laughs> uh, nah, yearly reset happened. I still paid for the Welkin and uh... Yeah. Uh. With that comes a C2 Ayaka. I love you. I think I simmed too hard this year. I love you. No misplayer still. <laughs> I hate you, Weapon Banner. I hate you with every fiber of my being. Kokomi, yes, I did roll for her. I did not regret getting her, by the way. I built her off screen with really good artifacts. And yeah, she's doing pretty well. But there's always a saying. I think this is gonna be the first time I'm gonna be saying this. With every five star you're getting, you're getting a Mona. And boy, oh boy, did it come true on my account. I got a bloody C6 Mona. I hate you. I want to destroy my desk so hard. Why you give me multiple monas? It could have been a deal of or a Tainari, as they're the only ones that I don't have. The only five star standard characters that I don't even have. But no, 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 no. You wanted to give me hell, oh, you birds. Oh, you wanted to play that game, huh? I wanted so badly to commit genocide on your public tricks. If you wanted to inject some depression on your soul, check out this parody that I made. Oh, Look no. at the view count though, oh my god! For right now, I calmed down with the wishes, I saved up a lot of primos, waiting for the eventual second Ayaka rerun alongside her weapon that hopefully lasts 240 days for real. Anyone remember that? <laughs> May the Arcots bless my soul. And the Ayaka skin. Now we're done with the Genshin stuff, let's touch some grass and get into the in real life stuff. Most of you already saw my microphone by now. Yes, this is the same microphone that I'm using. Look at this bad boy. Look at the RGB too. I bought this six months ago with an insane discount and boy oh boy, this is a good microphone. It hasn't let me down ever since. I sound good with this microphone with some adjustments on OBS, but even without the filters, I still sound fine. I really love this microphone. This is a very good microphone for the price, and I think you should check Firefine out. They make really good microphones. And here's some more tech stuff that I will just flash at the screen because I don't want to waste y'all's time. These are all of the things that I got this year. Some of these my fam bought for me, especially this monitor. Oh. MG, I'm grateful for that. Thank you guys so much. 1440p, 144 hertz. You know, to be honest, I didn't even need this monitor, but the tuition, the, the requirements for my school, it's, it's they listed the specific specs that I just said. But hey, hey, I'm taking what I can get. Not to mention that most of these stuff I'm showing are placed on my new wider desk that my family also bought that unfortunately has weak legs yeah we had to fix it and now i have to worry less but i still worry about it this gaming chair that we bought this year actually broke a while back chair kun is back baby we just had to replace the air pump and now i am completely fine and oh boy let's get to the shelf yes um i forgot to mention gone were the days where i have issues about the little space i have and that my setup is next to my ac i'm back to where i was back in most of 2021 with this lovely shelf behind me that has gone through so much change i can't help it i'm gonna cry 
Anyway, top part. I bought some Genshin collectibles. All of them are from Liyue. Y'all remember that? I bought my first two Funko Pops, my favorite character from Squid Game, and Genshin's male MC, Aether. And this Genshin poster. Lovely. What else have I bought? Oh, I think you already noticed by now. If you didn't notice, I was just gonna mention full on Arca merch. Woo! Full circle, baby! <laughs> I remembered from the whole video I made that I complained about the way I haven't found and bought Aika merch back then. Obviously, there's gonna be an Aika on it, right? But yeah, they don't. This is the exact vision you wear, right? This is technically an Aika merch. <laughs> okay. And now I have some the ribbon, the keychain, the phone accessory, and the acrylic stand. It is a dream come true that I got all of these. I'm coming for you, by the way. <laughs> but to be honest, I did not buy some of these. The keychain and this phone thing that I forgot the name of was given to me by a school friend of mine. Thank you very much. Even this print at the wall. Thank you for that as well. <laughs> oh, we'll get to this juiciness later. Now with that out of the way, let's continue the things that happened this year with the collaboration that I did. I collaborated with another YouTuber by the name of Genshin Wave, specifically one of the streamers there, Dan. Check out that video if you haven't. Cool guy by the way, he is really enjoyable alongside his co-streamer, Rinty. They were on a grind, so I say good for them. No complaints whatsoever. They even got the YouTube partner program. I really, really happy for them. No complaints whatsoever. How can you die to a child? That's disappointing. Kuya was scared because Mona can't swim, I guess. Is Kuya hacking? Oh, he's his sauce. What did you say, you pretentious psychopath? Love you, dude. Hope we can collaborate again soon when I get out of this hellfire of a school year. If you were here on this channel before, I think you already know this guy by now. He made some... Wow, he made a really big impact on this channel and specifically for me. I gotta give a huge shout out to Jakun for being my sugar daddy. I mean, what? I mean, being a really good friend of mine. <laughs> <laughs> Am I wrong though? He provided me a bunch of stuff that I wanted but couldn't really get with my own money. I mean, come on. He wailed on my Genshin account and my Steam library. First with Elden Ring and now recently with Jedi Fallen Order. Like, dude, what the heck? What? I kinda feel sad that I didn't find enough time to play Elden Ring, but once I do, I will definitely continue playing. And also Jedi Fallen Order, I wanted to play that too because it's a Star Wars game and I wanted to play a Star Wars game for a very long time. By the way, Elden Ring earned the Game of the Year award. Congrats to them, they really deserved it. <laughs> Let's not address the reformed orthodox rabbi in the room. I think Jakun was the first one to draw a uh, Kui Alfonso fan art and then the others followed suit. Autonova artist or France made this Chad looking queer Alfonso. Lovely. And this Kamisato sibling wallpaper that I use on my laptop setup. Also lovely. Now back to Jakun. I think you already saw it by now. Look on top of me. Damn! I did not expect that someone will draw this type of fan art this year and I am in love with it. I can't do it with this song. <laughs> so better not and it doesn't even stop there he made a free commission for me <laughs> now check this out damn the context is is that he returned from streaming hiatus and that he gave away two vip slots alongside free headshot commissions from him to those two vips guess is the lucky winner i look adorable there and i love it thank you very much definitely gonna print that and put it on my wall alongside that fan art there if i could point it there we go nice link to their social medias is in the description and speaking of putting fan arts on my wall there is another kuya x aika fan art that a school friend of mine made the same one who gave me the aforementioned ayaka merch to those who were there during my birthday stream you know this by now but to those who weren't the fan art was given to me on my birthday and i literally jumped in joy i really really wanted to show it again though but she said it's not finished don't worry i am patiently waiting take your time and thank you again when it's done you better know it's gonna go alongside them after three years of not physically seeing each other my dad stayed here for a full month and surprised me with a new 
camera. The one I'm using right now, this bad boy right here. <laughs> Canon M50 Mark II. Good camera. I got to take some good pictures with it. I'll show you a slideshow. We first met during the time where I also went to my very first convention experience, ESGS 2022. Conveniently, their comeback year. It's also where I got to do a Zhongli cosplay, one of the first few times doing such thing. If you want me to make a full vlog for those events, click that subscribe button. It was a fun time, I'm telling you. Now, speaking of subscribe, Please. Let's talk about YouTube. I experimented a little bit with different styles of content like live streaming and doing YouTube shorts which did really well and I mean look at that. Could be better next year but hey I'm happy with the current results. And I can't believe it myself that I made way more videos than the previous year. Way way more. The grind is real. I have been through so much met a lot more online friends like Genshin Wave and others. I did play Elden Ring once and never touched it again. I'm sorry. <laughs> I did more wacky stuff like simping for Ayaka too much. We go get it! <laughs> and showing my feet as a dare on the stream where I earned one of my biggest achievements this year. 1,000 subscribers. This number happened. Again, did not expect that I would reach that goal this year and some countless others. I'm still living the fever dream. Jeez. Ah. Oh. So I wasn't living in a dream. But to be completely honest, if I didn't stop with the grind, if the bad stuff didn't happen that hold me back, I may or may not would have reached 1.5k subs or maybe even 2k subs by now. But I'm not mad. It's just my theory. It's just my theory. I'm completely fine mostly again it happened once more that the school made me completely stop the youtube grind jeez it's a trend every year 2020 because i was on a video editing short course 2021 because i was on my last year of junior high and 2022 because senior high is 10 times more <laughs> but hey at least during those days of my absence in the youtube scene in real life is also a wild ride. I go out a little bit more often than usual, which is a nice change of pace. Like I mentioned before, Dad went on a vacation here that lasted a month last November. We went a little crazy on where we go and what we bought. I mean, look at me. <laughs> look at what I'm wearing right now. Wouldn't be possible without Dad. And despite the overwhelming school workload that will guarantee burnout and depression, at least hanging out with in real life friends once in a while is hella fun too. Partying hard a little too much and did some karaoke as well. Check out my Twitter, you can find a video there amongst the sea of icon retweets. Jeez, I simp too much, I need help. And with that, we are here at the end of a crazy year 2022. Oh boy. There's definitely room for improvement on how I do things. I did hit a real low last month, but with some reassurance and support from everyone I know, including you guys, my parents, and my friends, I know I'll be fine. Thank you very much for supporting me and having my back for this year and helping me achieve my goals for the year. And couldn't have done it without you lads. I hope you all are doing good as well. I pray for your safety and yeah, I hope you live happily. Next year is gonna be a bit different. I'm not gonna promise something but I will try to focus on experimenting with consistency in mind. Not only on YouTube but my personal life as well. I will also try to improve on my health because oh boy i need it let's see if i see the improvements next year i better get ready and i say that as i hold a sandwich pillow that my mom gave me for christmas oh thanks mom for always being there for me hope you like the harley quinn funko pop i gave you for christmas and with the amount of stuff that people gave me which is already an overwhelming amount that i can take i have saved up enough give away I don't even know myself. I'm not even sure. So that's it. I guess this is my favorite year by far. Favorite year of the decade and favorite year probably ever. A lot of good things and a lot of bad things as well. But the good overweigh the bad. It's always like that. Let's hope for a better 2023, guys. I'm gonna go on my slumber. Oh, dear. 
this is better. Huh. 